up, what's up, YouTube? Daddy's home, and we're going over some on-page SEO. I've seen the imitators, and now, guys, I'm going to show you how to do it right. Hi, Chris. So whether you are creating content 100% from scratch or you are optimizing existing content, I'm going to show you over to the steps. It's very, very similar. I'm going to show you a couple cool little tools um, that you can use to make your life a lot easier. Without further ado, Let's go. So I'm inside a search console right now. What we're going to do is we're going to optimize the uh, metal roofing page for the KOG roofing. Shout out. And I'm going to show you what the search queries are look like in the past month after we've already optimized the uh, content. So as you can see, just in the past 28 days, the uh, search traffic that we're getting for different keywords. So we've got metal roofing cost. Uh, metal roofing, these are really popping pretty hard. Uh, being, you can look at the impressions. We're getting almost 3,000 impressions uh, just for metal roofing cost um, per month. Uh, for this page, we've got 10 clicks. Uh, metal roofing, how much does a metal roofing cost in Texas? Uh, cost of a metal roof, steel roofing, metal roofing prices, metal roof, standing seam metal roof, uh, metal roofing cost, how much does a metal roof cost? And blah, blah, blah. You guys see it, right? We've got pages of this. Um, and as you can tell, we're continually showing up for more and more keywords. And we're going to show you how we optimize this uh, through a uh, Page Optimizer Pro, as well as, and this is important, as well as the natural language processing or, or the uh, topic clusters, okay? That's the secret sauce to the madness. All right, guys, so before we go any further, I want to learn y'all something today. That is the uh, Rank or Go Home Challenge, which was a group of SEO companies and agencies that were in a contest to rank for the keyword rhinoplasty plano. I don't know what you're thinking, man. Who cares, right? It was a contest that happened a long time ago. But the winner of that contest was Kyle Roof, and he did it with a website completely written in gibberish, or Latin to be a, a little bit more exact. But this is a fascinating study of a look at how the Google algorithm works. And here are the results of this. Two weeks later, his site took the number one position in the maps and the organics, and his knowledge graph popped for a site written in Latin. Needless to say, Google uh, DNS the website as soon as they saw this, but we're going to go over the principles because they still hold true to today. All right, so as you can see, I'm over here at hvseo.co, and uh, this is their blog. So if you want to go into more detail, just Google Rhinoplasty Plano SEO, and it's like the number one or number two uh, organic result. But as you can see, 98% of the on-page text was written in Latin. Let's just take a look at uh, how it's written here. So we've got uh, Vix Sumo Sacario in Ativim. Nose job, comma, errant, infamous, patience, duo, ad. All right, and then it just goes into a bunch of Latin, uh, blah, 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 cosmetic, and then the rest is just Latin. So you see how he sprinkled three keywords or LSI words into the content body itself. All right, guys, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. Maybe you can go check it out if you want, but the biggest takeaway from this case study is one, Google can't read. Or two, the largest ranking factors that you can have is having the keyword inside of the URL. The title tag, the meta description, inside of your headers and having proper page structure. So H1, H2, H3, H2. You can go H1, H2, H3, H3. It just depends on your content. It's almost if you think about like writing a report, like if you were in college or in high school, you had to have like a main subject and then broke it down into like Roman numerals or uh, different subsections. Same thing with your headers. The biggest takeaway here is having the correct keywords and proper page structure. You're going to win every single time. And how we're going to find those keywords and what to put in and how to structure our page. Right here, we've got Page Optimizer Pro. Another really awesome tool that I use personally is Cora Light. And I will do the tutorial for Cora Light for the Patreon group only. As well as uh, we're going to go into more detail of how I create content and uh, structure a template for a writer and then... Uh, the services I use, and I usually get about a uh, around about twenty five dollars, twenty five dollars for a optimized one thousand word article, and that will be for Patreon only. All right, so we're in here, and we're into Page Optimizer Pro, and we are going to create a new page. Right, we're going to go full setup. Our main keyword, we're going to do metal roofing. All right, we're going to be in English, Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. That's good. Um, I'm not going to worry about the EAT analysis or the natural language processing. Uh, we're going to do that separate uh, with a different tool. 
We're gonna go next, and now they're gonna get the competitor. Okay, we wanna choose our own competitors. I wanna do this a lot of times because you really don't wanna base your uh, pages off like Home Advisor or Angie's List a lot of times. Um, you it's just, it's not gonna work, okay? You can't replicate anything that they do, and they're just a powerful domain website, so that's why they're ranking. It's more off page than what it is on. A lot of times they're ranking for like plumber in X city and they're just like, hey, this is the top 10 plumbers and they have diff 10 different plumbing companies. That is definitely not the avenue a local business is going to use to rank for that same keyword. So we don't want to rank with Home Depot, metal roofing, residential metal roofing systems, Leroy Metal, the pros and cons, uh, State Farm. Mm. Right, yeah. Here we go, metal roofing cost, and the sales, and then first page, I'm going to use nine. Next. And it's going to run. All right, now let's to select a, uh, a primary focus. I'm going to do three for this one, so I'm just going to use the top three, even though the first one is an exact match domain. And we're going to click next. All right, so now we're going to copy and paste the uh, URL that we want, which is going to be over here. And... We're going to drop it in. All right. All right, now it's going to visit the page and scrape our content, and it's going to analyze that with the top ranking uh, pages, and it's going to see what we're missing, what we need to add, maybe some things that we need to take away. All right, now it wants us to add uh, the variance or LSI keywords here, so I've got them. All right, now it's going to process, and here we go. Let's take a look at the uh, standard report here. So we've got a 58%, which is not very good. Our uh, page title, which could add uh, some keyword variants in there. Our subheadings are not very good. We need to update them. Main content, we've got some LSI keywords that we should add to. Page structure, bold, Italian, uh, and uh, images, we all need to add. Related keywords, related questions, these would be great to add it to your FAQs. All right, but what we're going to do is we can come over here to the dashboard and we can get a much better visual, okay? So our exact match keyword optimization, we seem to be over-optimized, okay? Same thing for the keyword variants and LSI optimization. Uh, we have over six. Our keyword count, this seems to be off. Uh, there's no way that we have over 4,000 words of content. It must be caught uh, in a loop, but there's absolutely no way that we can. So as you can see, we have uh, our keyword variants over here. See, as you can see, we're over-optimized, right? Uh, and then our LSI keywords. So we can grab the relevant LSI keywords and then also add these into all of our content. Scheme is good. I know because I wrote it. Super bomb. And then E, we're not doing this here. So main things that we're going to utilize this tool for are going to be headings, okay, title tags, meta description. That's really it, okay. I'm sprinkling in a couple LSI keywords, but the rest we're going to do afterwards. All right, so I'm on the actual page itself, and let's take a look at the page structure, okay. I can tell you right now it's not very good. So if we come over here and take a look at our headers, we got H1, H2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, 4, 4, 4, 4, okay. And I think these are actually on the sidebar. So really it's just a bunch of H2s. That's definitely, we need to optimize that. We need to get in those threes a thousand percent. It says we should add seven, so we should do that. All right, so I've worked into the future and I've added seven H3 headers. Um, and I've also put some keyword variants inside of my headers overall. Okay, I didn't go entirely off the um, uh, pop, but I did that. And this page structure looks much, much better. The only thing I'm gonna do differently is get rid of these H4s at the bottom for the A plus BBB rating, fill out and get in touch with an expert roofer. But we're gonna have to do that through um, our widget editor because that is on the sidebar and I can't do that through uh, Beaver Builder. So as you can see, our page structure looks so much better and it's much more optimized. Right, next, we wanna go over here to the exact keyword optimization. We are over six, so we need to take out six metal roofing uh, tags. So, Let's go ahead and do that now. What I've done is here, I've just done a search for metal roofing. As you can see, all the metal roofing's highlighted. I'm going to pull six of them out right now. I can just see there's quite a bit that we can we can take out without this even even adding content or changing it. So I'm gonna take out the, uh, I've taken out two right there. Let's save it and let's get some more. All right, we're gonna take these out too. There's, they shouldn't be steel metal roofing to begin with. These, this has been a bit over optimized from the actual writer. And so that's four. Let's take out two more. And then these should be our last two. Uh, from there you go. Metal roofing is a broad term based for various types of metal roofing structures. We'll put those five. And so as you can see, we've got 74 uh, roofing and we need to get that down to 46. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here. 
grab all the uh, roofing terms that I think is unrelevant, irrelevant, and knock those down so this page will not be over optimized and i'm gonna do that right now all right so as you can see we've got the uh, roofing term down to 46 and let's go see what the next one is so we've got roof we need to get that down to 80 so as you can see we've got the the term roof we have it down to our targeted 86. Um, the next is metal roof uh, currently it's 18 our target's 18 so we're good and then metal roofs with an s are currently we're at eight and our target is Three. So let's go take a look at that. So as you can see, we've got our metal roofs down to our targeted three. Um, and obviously our last uh, steel roof, we don't need anything. So we're good on that, right? So as you guys can see, you can come in here and play with it. Either add or take away uh, your keyword variants or your LSI keywords. We can do the same thing here. I'm not going to do this, so I don't want this to be an hour long video. But this is how you would optimize your content. All right, last thing we're going to do is update the title tag and meta description. So we've got the title is uh, Metal Roofing a Bios Guide, all about metal roofs and costs. Uh, and then we've got our secondary keywords in our meta description as well. We're going to update that and we're good to go. Last thing we're going to do, and this is the secret sauce in my opinion, is adding your entities and or topics. So think of them like LSI keywords, but more powerful. Um, I call them super keywords. All right, guys, this is Phrase, and this is something that I love to use to optimize content, all right? So if I get content back from a writer and I want to polish it up and put a little spinny jizz in, I'll use this tool right here. Or if uh, this is really good also for headings, if you want to uh, optimize your headings, or uh, what we're going to utilize this is for finding those entity keywords, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So best part, it's free. You can do five, or you can do it five times, and then you got to pay for it, so... You can try it out. There's no reason why you're not using it uh, because it's not going to cost you anything. So try it out, see if you like it, and then pay for it. So what we can do over here is we're just going to come over to content, and then we're going to create uh, new content, or we can create existing content. So what we can do is we can pull in the URL, and then we can just pull in the search query we want. So as you can see, we've got our URL. We're gonna, our search query is metal roofing, and let's let it run its thing. All right, so it does something very similar. As you can see on the side here, it's pulling in the... Uh, top rankings uh the websites is, is and it's doing something very similar to what pop does but the topic score is what we're going to do let's cancel this out all right so as you can see these are all entities if you guys don't know what an entity is it is a keyword with a machine code attached to it well why is that important so i'm going to learn you something real quick so i'm over here at google cloud in the google natural language processing api okay and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly grab a piece of content and I'm going to show you how Google understands that piece of content and what keywords it pulls out of that content. I actually did a video on this about a year ago um, on my YouTube channel going over keyword research. So I'm over here at Bob Vila and this is the uh, Metal Roofing Pros and Cons, 7 Things You Need to Know About a Metal Roof. Okay, this is one of the top ranking pages when we pulled it in from Pop. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this entire article. And then we are going to drop it into the actual Google API. Okay, so there we go. And this is going to, boop, and then it's going to analyze. All right, now it's back. Okay, so now it's pulling out keywords that it deems relevant. So we've got Metal Roof, Pinterest, Bob Vila, Donna Bull, Schwartz, Homeowners, People. These in blue and red are the most important. Okay, and then you can actually scroll down to the bottom and it will give you a sailing score. All right, and the scaling score of a possible one being the most. All right, now, all right, now stay with me here. I've got in roof here inside of Google Trends, right? And as you can see, it is a topic, right? Boom. Now, what's so, what's so important about this? You come over here and look inside of the URL right here. This uh, percent 2F, this is actually the machine ID for this keyword. So when Google's natural language processing is going on, it recognizes this keyword and there's a lot of data uh, that it, how it understands that content is how it understands this keyword okay if that made sense so your business has a keyword uh, any type of topic a person a place a thing is all gonna have a machine ID associated with it okay that machine ID is usually gonna start with either a G and that means Google assigned that machine ID to that keyword, or it's gonna start with an M, okay? Most cities and a lot of keywords are gonna start with an M, and that is because Wiki assigned that machine code uh, to that keyword. 
All right, so now I'm back inside of phrase, and we're going to add these topics or entities, whatever you want to call them, inside of our content to get a rankings boost. And like I said, if you do anything and just add these topics or entity keywords inside of your content, you will get a rankings boost without doing anything else whatsoever. All right, so you can see we've got all these uh, different types of topics to choose from. All right, and the average is 24.7. Okay, and we've got a 35.1. We can always improve that, but we're actually sitting pretty good right now. Okay. Now, there's a couple other features that I really like to use, utilize phrase, okay? And that's also the headers, all right? So, you can come in here, you can see the top results, okay? And we can come over here and see the headers, okay? What type of headers? So, if you're looking for ideas or if you need to add those H2s, H3s, um, these are great ways to get ideas, you know, reword them a bit, obviously, um, but to add that to your content, right? Um, the overview is pretty awesome. So you can get the links, the images, um, and the uh, overall word count and the header count, okay? Um, and it even shows you, like, the page structure. So you can see we've got H1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. So it's overall, it's a pretty awesome tool. Um, I absolutely love the topic score. This is what I use it um, constantly over and over again are for these actual topics. So, I mean, it just literally gives you what you need to do. You can just add them in, right? So anything that's relevant, you can get in here. Um, I know some people go absolutely extreme with them. I think these look pretty good. But listen, us as the SEOers, it's our job to get the website uh, up to a point to where Google can fundamentally understand what the website and the business is all about. And that means uh, all the, your web presence in general. And I really think the more natural language processing um, is going to be more a part of how Google understands content. I think these topics or entities are going to increase in their relevancy. So once again, I say it over and over again. It's our job as SEOers to know what the algorithm is looks like today, but to also maybe take a look into the future and think what's it going to look like in six months, a year, two years from now. Um, and I think this is something that will be here to stay for sure. So guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you all had a good one. Um, I think it'd be pretty boring if you just see me copy and pasting words into content. Um, I can do that for you if you like. <laughs> but please like, comment, drop below. I'll see you guys. Peace.